Hey, Kristen here. I think it's safe to say I've had sharks on the brain all day, every day. If you've followed my journey this summer, you understand why. If you haven't, then you should definitely check out my last video of me swimming with sharks. Just do it. But seriously, it's right here. Just click it. Now that I'm back on land and not swimming with sea monsters, I thought it'd be fun to get to know the sharks a little bit better. Did you know there are over 400 different types of sharks? There are some crazy ones out there. Let's get to know five of the coolest sharks. Number one, the frilled shark. Don't mistake this for an eel or sea snake. The frilled shark is the real deal. Belonging to a primitive shark species that has changed little over the years, it has prompted many to call it a living fossil. The frilled shark has around 300 small, razor sharp teeth organized into 25 rows and jaws that end at the back of the fish's head. The frilled shark gets its name from the six frilled gills on its head. These alien-like sharks like to stay hidden in the dark, deep parts of the ocean, which makes spotting them extremely rare. Number two, the saw shark. This shark must have told too many lies because he is definitely the Pinocchio of the sea. The saw shark has an elongated snout with teeth on the sides that they use like a blade in order to capture and kill their prey. It has a pair of barbells in the middle of its snout. It puts the barbells in the sand and senses if there's any nearby animal buried underneath. It's found in tropical climates, especially around the Bahamas, but don't worry, it likes to stay down in depths of at least 150 feet. Number three, the cookie cutter shark. Nope, this is not a monster from a Tim Burton movie. The cookie cutter shark has a silly name and a diminutive stature of 20 inches, but despite this, he is one vicious predator you would not want to mess with. This is because it preys on just about every large and medium-sized creature it shares the ocean with. Whales, sharks, dolphins, seals, mermaids, you get the idea. It latches onto its prey by suctioning itself. Then it anchors its top row of teeth into the prey while its bottom set of teeth munches away. Then the shark begins twisting so that in the end, it gouges out a round chunk of flesh. Hence the name, cookie cutter. Number four, wobble gong shark. Is it a piece of coral? Is it a shag rug from the 1970s? No, it's the wobble gong shark. It's whiskers that wobble to and fro make it look like this shark is competing for the best beard award. This shark is also known as a carpet shark since it lives on the bottom of the ocean floor where it sleeps all day and hunts at night. Their greenish and brownish skin, which is covered in a unique pattern of bold markings, keeps them camouflaged against the sand, hiding them from other threatening animals. They are mostly found in shallow waters around Australia and Indonesia, with the exception of the Japanese wobble gong. They can be found in bays, caves, rocky bottoms, and reefs, with some preferring clearer water than others. But here's the cool thing about this shark. It can walk. Now, it won't be running marathons anytime soon, but this shark uses its fins to grab onto the ocean floor and rocks and climb out of one tide pool and enter another. Number five, the whale shark. Growing to more than 40 feet in size, whale sharks are the largest fish species in the world. But don't get threatened by their size. These sharks prefer to feed on plankton, not people. In a mechanism called cross-flow filtration, the shark uses its jaw to filter what enters its mouth while swimming with its mouth wide open. Swimmers have been known to catch a ride on these monstrous but docile creatures. Some of the Salt Life crew even had a chance to cozy up next to these big bundles of love. Whoa. Diving with whale sharks is definitely next on my bucket list. There are some amazing and bizarre creatures out there. Do you know of any cool sharks? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to click that subscribe button so you can keep up with the latest and greatest beach news. That's all for now. I'm Kristen reminding you to keep living the salt life.